Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, the 23rd? <laughs> no, 24th. And um, it's Moving Stitch. Hashtag Moving Stitch E is the movie that I watched. And then I just realized I have not picked out my next movie. An elf movie. Uh, I have to think about that for a second. <laughs> I forgot to even think about that, but I was so excited to share my square that I didn't even think about what movie I'm gonna watch next. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out in a minute. Anyways, my E movie was Ever After, and uh, yeah, it came out in the 90s, I think 98, with Drew Barrymore in it, and Angelica Houston is the evil stepmother on it. But it's a Cinderella story, essentially. It's just the telling of Cinderella, and it's one of my favorite Cinderellas. I love all the Cinderellas, though. All of them. I love the original cartoon by Disney. I love uh, Ever After. I love the one with Brandy and Whitney Houston in it. I love the <laughs> the one with Hilary Duff in it. That's called A Cinderella Story. That came out in the 2000s sometime. And uh, yeah, I pretty much I just love all of them. <laughs> but I really love this one just because I grew up watching it a lot. Um, it's just we had it on tape. I remember growing up, so I watched it all the time. And uh, yeah, it just. A nice movie. I like it. It's just Cinderella story, so it's pretty much the same as all of them. <laughs> but for the movie, um, I know there's a lot of iconic parts of that movie that a lot of people think of. Like the main thing people think of when they think of that movie is the dress, the like silvery dress that she wears to the the ball, <laughs> and it's got the big wings on it. But um, and it is a beautiful dress. But I actually I noticed when I was watching it um, the other day that. Uh, the part that stuck out to me was the necklace that she wore at the end of the movie. And I'm pretty sure it's the same necklace that the evil stepsister finds. But really, that little hench dude stole it so that it could look like she found it. And gave it back to the queen. And the queen is played by the woman off of um, Call the Midwife. Who plays as... Uh, oh gosh, what's her name? I forgot her name. But it's one of the main nuns. It's the one that's kind of got like dementia or something. So she's always getting into trouble. <laughs> but uh, I love that show too. I haven't seen it in forever though, so I forgot what her name is. Uh, what is her name? Is it Sister... Mm, it starts with an M, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Whatever. Either way, same actress. Whoops, I just kicked the star on. Anyways, it's that necklace. And then at the end of the movie, after Danielle and the prince get married... Um, she's wearing it, Danielle is, when, when they're like revealing to the evil stepmom and the evil stepsister and the nice stepsister <laughs> that, uh, you know, she got married and she's like the princess now or whatever, <laughs> um, the duchess. But anyways, she's wearing it and it's the same necklace that, uh, was the queen. So it's like the queen gave it to her, I think. So it looks like the same necklace. <laughs> anyways, I wanted to make my square, uh, based off of it. So here's my square. <laughs> Get a little bit closer. There's texture. <laughs> I tried my hardest to uh, replicate <laughs> that it didn't you know it's not perfect because I'm not that good of an artist but uh, it is layered up because there's the square that's white and then there's a little gold square a little gold circular flower thing and then on top of it is the red uh, it's supposed to be like the jewel that's on there and then these little white ones on the necklace are like pearls so yeah that's my square I think it turned out pretty good. <laughs> I like the way it looks. Uh, I'll pop up a picture of the necklace from the movie just so you can see my inspiration. <laughs> and then I just did the white and the red because um, the necklace is setting on a piece of her dress that's white and there's like a maroon red around it. And I don't have any maroon <laughs> uh, scrap balls and I was trying to use my scrap balls. So I just went ahead and got this dark, uh, it's like a cherry red I think, um, to be the necklace. <laughs> but yeah, so that was my square for my E movie. Now I have to hop off and think of what my elf movie is going to be real fast because I, I did not think about that until just now. Okay, I hopped off and looked around on Disney Plus <laughs> and I think I'm going to do my elf movie as Freaky Friday, the original one. Because I've seen the uh, the middle one <laughs> with Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan in it a gajillion times because it came out when I was like an early teenager. And uh, so I was really into it. Uh, I know there was a new one that recently came out. I have not seen that one. I don't really have interest to see it. Because, <laughs> like, the new Disney movies are kind of... The new original Disney movies, like the ones that come out on Disney Channel, are kind of crappy. Like, the edit, the uh, acting is really horrible in them. But, uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to watch the one, the old one, with um, 
Jodie Foster aunt. <laughs> I was based on her name. But yeah, I'm going to watch that one. Because I have. I don't think I've ever seen it. And if I have, I don't remember it. So that's going to be my Elf movie is Freaky Friday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there's my E-square. I'm actually pretty proud of this. I think it turned out really good. It's got like a... a you can't really see it because it's gold on gold. But the necklace is gold on gold. So I like it. I think it's pretty. I'm proud of it. <laughs> but yeah, so I will see you guys in a couple weeks to show you my Freaky Friday square, unless I change my mind and pick a different movie. <laughs> I've been known to do that, but that's okay. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.